Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about transmission electron microscopy. It's also called TAM. It is a very important topic from scattering spectroscopy and it is also very important type of electron microscopy. Basically, electron microscopy are two types. One is SAM, second is TAM. SAM, scanning electron microscopy, I uh, in my previous video, I discuss complete discuss about scanning electron microscopy and in this particular video, I discuss uh, complete explanation about transmission electron microscopy. So why we use transmission electron microscopy? So basically, uh, in general, we use optical or light microscope in our labs, in our school labs or college college labs um, but when we want some uh, magnified image some very resolution powers image so we have to use transmission electron microscopy or scanning electron microscopy because both are very very good to uh, um, very good types of microscopy which give the detailed explanations detail uh, like uh, microstructures of any kind of sample so transmission electron microscope uh, is very important to get magnified image okay so what is transmission electron microscope the basic introduction is tem is a technique of choice for analysis of internal microstructure so basically we get internal micro uh, structure to use tem so tem is also used for evaluation of nanostructures like fibers particles or microstructures of cells it invented by max Knorr and Ernst rusker this is the basic def, uh, basic uh, introduction of transmission electron microscopy uh, when we go to principle of uh, a transmission microscopy so the theory portion of uh, a principle of tem uh, uh, when uh, the theory portion is electron those are passed through the sample or specimen are imaged and give the idea about the internal structure of the sample this is the first uh, point very important point or point of that principle uh, yeah first we discuss the uh, theory portion of that principle then we understood the concept from diagram so uh, first uh, point is electron those are passed through the sample or specimen are imaged and give the idea about the internal structure of the sample second important point is electron transmitted through the sample will strike into the fluorescent screen or plate and it will be converted into image which is 2d or black and white this is the basic important point uh, theory point of principle so what is actually happens in principle uh, this is the important diagram for that Actually, uh, this is uh, when uh, huh, yeah we use radiation uh, we use radiation source we use electron beam for radiation source. Uh, this is the electron beams, and when this electron beam strike our sample a specimen, three kind of signal we get. First is secondary electron, second is backscatter electron, X rays, and fourth is transmitted electron. In uh, yeah, in scanning electron microscopy, we get image to use three kind uh, these three kind of signals. But in transmission electron microscope, we get our image through this flu fluorescence screen. Uh, when transmitted electrons strike the this plate, this screen, uh, then uh, some kind of signal uh, get from there, uh, and these signals are go to our CPU and then from uh, in monitor we get the image so this kind of uh, principle uh, transmission electron microscopies are work in that principle uh, yeah in our scanning electron microscopy we get image from using this three kind of a uh, signal and in our transmission electron microscopy we get image to using this transmitted electrons okay so this is the basic principle of that and some important point i hope you get it and the, some important point uh, of instrumentation is electron gun is used to produce electron beam and operate at 1 to 30 kilowatt for SAM and 80 to 300 kilowatt for TAM. And tungsten filament is used to electron gun used in electron gun which emit beam of of electron at very high voltage. This is some uh, that are some very important point of uh, transmission electron microscopy. Now uh, move to the instrumentation of electron microscopy this is a ray diagram of transmission electron microscopy and its instrumentation part 
some important uh, we discuss some important parts of that uh, ray diagram uh, that instrumentation of electron tra transmission electron microscopy first is electron source in electron source we generally use electron gun to produce the electron beam okay uh, first uh, we saw the some important parts is electron source condenser lens objective lens and projective lens and this is the screen so this four is very important kind of part of that instrumentation so um, uh, first we discuss the theory portion of that instrumentation then we understood the then we better understand the instrumentation of this uh, diagram from this diagram so first uh, the important part is obviously electron source that we use electron gun to produce electron beam so tungsten filament is used uh, for produce of electron beam in electron gun and second important part of that instrumentation uh, instrument is condenser lens these are electromagnetic lenses and they will focus all the electron beam toward the specimen or sample in time number of condenser lens are much higher as compared to scanning electron microscopy uh, so electron beam will be more accelerated and it can easily uh, penetrate the specimen okay this is the very important uh, parts of that instrument electron gun and condenser lens then we use sample so sample preparation method is also very important in uh, scanning in scanning electron microscope also and in transmission electron microscope so we, we use four kind of method to, uh, to prepare our sample first is fixation second is uh, rinsing third is secondary fixations four is dehydration so fixation for fixation we use two kind of method that is chemical fixation and cryo fixations so for chemical fixation we use glut uh, glutary dehyde and for cryo fixation we use liquid nitrogen and helium for rinsing we use uh, sodium coca dilate this is the important uh, chemical compound we use in uh, we use to rinsing our sample and uh, third is secondary fixation we use osmium tetra tetraoxide os uh, o4 and in for dehydration we use ethanol or uh, acetone okay this is the important uh, methods for prepare our sample and this is important chemical compounds to prepare our methods i hope you get understand and this is very very important in uh, instrument uh, because we have to uh, thus prepare our sample very well that's then we get very good uh, image uh, third is objective lens it is also very important objective lens it is also an electromagnetic lens and focus for transmitted beam toward the projected uh, projector lens and for this projector lens uh, it will magnify the transmitted beam coming from the objective lens and focus toward the fluores, uh, fluorescence screen uh, ccd detector it's also called ccd detector the uh, okay sorry uh, so yeah proje uh, projector lens is also important type of that instrument uh, it will magnify the transmitted beam coming from the objective lens and focus toward the fluorescence screens a uh, ccd detector so what is CCD detector? It's a charge coupled detector. Will send the data, uh, will send the data to CPU. Okay, this is the final stage that we get our beam, uh, we get our image, and uh, this would uh, send the data. Yeah, this is the final stage that there we get our data, and uh, this data will send uh, from uh, to CPU. Okay, from uh, CCD detector. So this is the important parts of uh, that instrument for important uh, part. I hope you understand. Uh, I hope uh, these notes will be help helpful for your uh, examination prep exam preparations. And now the instrument. So uh, I think uh, you should understand uh, from principal parts of that instrument. Uh, basically, this electron source. Uh, we use electron gun to produce electron beam. And then condenser lens this is the in yellow part it is the electron beam and this condenser lens uh, generally focus all the electron beam toward the specimen or sample uh, we take our a sample in there and then uh, objective lens it's also uh, has very important work it's all focus all the electron beam to the projective lens and then project after projective lens we after this 
sorry after this projective lens we get our data in this fluorescence screens we use that and after uh, after we use this data we get the magnified very good uh, more magnified image in our computer screen so this is the instrumentation part of transmission electron microscope i hope you uh, i i hope um, it will be helpful for your concept understanding the concept and very important point is tam is operated under vacu vacuum to reduce the any kind of interference barrier so basically all the instrumentation is happening in vacuum okay so now the application parts of uh, this tam transmission electron microscope application is very important for any kind of topic because it is something very important for our exam point of view um, so what is the application of tam first is tam provide uh, topographical morphological compositional and crystalline information about our sample uh, so this is the very very important and the image allow researchers to view sample on a molecule level molecular level making it possible to analyze structure and texture this is very important application again and third important application is cancer researchers uh, studies of tumor cell ultrastructure by using transmission electron microscope so basically this is the important uh, applications of tem now the advantage of tem there is a, a many kind of advantage of tem first is tem offer very powerful magnification and resolutions and that's why we use uh, tem and uh, second is tem provide information and element and compound structure uh, images are high quality and detailed okay this is a very important advantage of tem but uh, there is disadvantage also of TEM. So what, what is kind of uh, disadvantage is first is TEMs are large and very expensive. One of the very important disadvantage I think. And second is library uh, sample preparations. Uh, third is operation and analysis required special training. Fourth is TEM required special housing and maintenance image are black and white these are the disadvantages of time so that's it for uh, this is the end of the video i hope this would be helpful for your exam preparations any kind of exam preparations and uh, this is something which uh, i also try uh, new things uh, i also want to learn new things that's why i try to do that uh, i hope my notes and my efforts will be helpful for your exam preparations and if you like the video please support like and subscribe to my channel and stay connected with my channel thank you so much for watching